Greetings everyone, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the new operative for Snowbreak's Fogbound Dream update, Absconditus Haru. Absconditus Haru is a DPS unit that specialises in close quarters combat. Her standard skill, Compensatory Justice, allows her to slice forward with her blade dealing kinetic damage to up to five targets within range of her attack. This attack has a deceptively great horizontal and vertical ranges, allowing her to hit enemies that would otherwise be unreachable. Be sure you're dealing with your target's shields before using this skill. Its damage against shields are quite lacking. This skill can be further enhanced using her Neuronics Compensatory Justice Cluster enhancements. Her support skill, Swift Execution, performs three evidentiary slashes followed by an executionary slash in quick succession. Each evidentiary slash will do 50% of her attack in damage, while the executionary slash deals 172% of her attack, plus 47. This skill can be further enhanced using her Neuronics Compensatory Justice Cluster enhancements. Her ultimate, triumphant Body Victorious Blade delivers a wide horizontal slash to deal massive kinetic damage to all enemies in front of her. After the initial activation of the skill, Haru will enter the body as a blade state. While in this state, Haru gains 50 victory points and loss one point every second she remains in the body as a blade state. Compensatory Justices is now considered a skill damage. Its cooldown is greatly reduced. It no longer costs skill energy to cast and will trigger an additional faithful slice when used at the cost of two victory points. While in the body as a blade state, Haru may cast her ultimate multiple times to trigger the final blow skill at the cost of 15 victory points. Her ultimate can be further enhanced using her Neuronics Triumphant Body, Victorious Blade Cluster Enhancements. Her passive Piercing Oath 3, Daewos, allows her to deal bonus damage to enemies whose HP fall below 32% of Haru's attack. Essentially, this passive allows her to execute weakened enemies similar to Wild Hunt's Eternal Blizzard enhancement. For weapons, the event. Pistol Wild Wasp Stinger is going to be your best in slot for free-to-play players or anyone who isn't going to summon her signature weapon. This weapon will also synergize well with her Neuronics Compensatory Justice Cluster, allowing her skill to do 20% more damage while she is equipped with a kinetic weapon. If you have access to Yojimbo, it will also be a pretty good choice for her, giving her some skill damage in addition to being able to trigger her passive. Nexus is another solid choice if you have built it already, but since it's not a kinetic weapon, I would recommend you use it as a placeholder until you can get the Wasp. For five star choices, Star Ocean is surprisingly good. It's a kinetic damage dealer, gives skill damage and does damage over time to targets hit by the user's active skill. So if you have definitely use it. Of course, her best in slot five star weapon is going to be 16 Psyche. This weapon is tailor made for her and will allow her to reach her maximum damage potential. But you know how we feel about signature equipments around here, so it's up to you whether or not you wish to go for it. As for logistics, the new Akitsu set is going to be her best in slot, especially when paired with her signature weapon, 16 Psyche. The two piece is going to buff her skill damage and the, the third will grant her multiple bonuses based on the number of golden Osmanthus stacks she possesses. Don't worry too much about that long flavor text. The stacks are easy to get, just kill everything in sight and you'll trigger all the requirements for the set. In fact, depending on the enemy density, you can hit 30 stacks fairly quickly. 3P Samano Iwato is also viable. Your skill damage will take a hit since you won't be getting that 24% skill damage that Akitsu provide, but you'll make up for it in weapon damage. Amano also have the added benefit of being very straightforward and easy to proc. As someone who will likely live and die on the free-to-play hill, manifestations are a taboo topic around here, but since you can farm them here on Snowbreak, hers are as follows. M1 Battleground Dominance Haru can use Triumphant Body, Victorious Blade without consuming U Energy every 10 minutes. M2 Frenzied Rage increases attack by 5% for 5 seconds when Haru uses a skill, stacks up to 5 times, and repeated triggers will reset the duration. 
M3 Iron Law of Victory grants her Iron Body when using a skill. I was wondering where Iron Body was, now we know. M4 Righteous Enforcement increases Compensatory Justice's level by 1, reduce its cooldown to 4 second and S Energy Consumption to 4. M5 Virtuous Pursuit in the body as blade state, the lower the target's current HP, the higher the damage Haru deals. Up to 30% more damage can be gained from M5. If we look past the fact that M1 should have been read as kills with compensatory justice have a 40% chance to reload your weapon, her manifestations are all right. Personally, I think Iron Body should have been built into her base kit. Maybe defeating a target with her skill could have granted Iron Body for two seconds and would only trigger every five seconds or something to that effect. But you know what they say about these things. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> for Neuronics, prioritize the two upgrades for compensatory justice. Starting with the Enhance node for the bonus damage when using a kinetic weapon followed by the special node. Next upgrade, the two special nodes for Triumphant Body Victorious Blade. They will both increase your ultimate uptime, but prioritize the left one over the right. If you're using her as a support, you can activate the two middle clusters for some stuns and faster uptime on her support skill. When it comes to teammates, Acacia Kaguya is always a solid pick to boost your main DPS's damage. Fritia Hush is very valuable to her because she can provide that iron body she wishes she had at M0, and equipped with Strawberry Shortcake, she will also buff her damage. If you don't have Hush, Cirrus is a solid replacement, and of course healers like Quit Quitter Yao and Cheng Sing the Observer are always welcome. Abscondatus Haru is a pretty fun character. Although she isn't without flaws, the fun factor she brings to the table is more than welcome. My blade. Huh. 